Ugri Challenge 4 and 4. Semi-final this is, the best of three between Team Top Notch in blue and Team Akatsuki in red. This is spawning at the top. Hawk followed by Foggy, followed by Cash, followed by Happy. This is the best that Europe has to offer, and they are fighting against the best that Korea has to offer. Lucifer in the bottom, followed by Reprisal, followed by Focus, followed by Remind. Very old school. And we have an expansion right away by Reprisal. This was the case last week as well, with very early expansions. They met on this very map, actually, and Foggy was the one expanding everywhere where it was like possible so i wonder if we see it again we have happy with the dk cash with the tc we have no double crypt here for mass fiends this is a fast tech by cash foggy again with oh with archers only and a potum of course potum basically guaranteed here brings a wisp in so this will be a counter expansion to this one and hawk with an archmage for the aura and the water mental. so what is Remind doing? Remind is creeping and expanding. Seems like they learned from last week where they were forces are under attack. out mined at the end. Freeing up every single expansion right now, except this one, I guess. But of the words, they should be fine. Focus is not tacking. Maybe he fed someone. Or is he going... Oh, double barracks. That's why. So mass grunts, remind as the engine of war here. So only archers for him as well. No huntress. A player's are under attack. With mass grunts, of course, it makes sense. Happy with fiends, the standard, and grunts for cash as well. Does he go double barracks? No, he decided to go for the tech for raiders. So how many expansions do we have? One for hawk, and one for foggy. Plus, oh, the second one for foggy. So it's three. Wait, one, one. Two, three, four then, right? Wow. <laughs> four expansions versus one, two, a player three. Is under, under All right. Looks good again for the European team if they are able to hold on to this. Of course, if you expand one more time, then you can't invest too much into your army. But therefore, there's guys who tech, there's guys who mass, there's guys who creep. Ooh, lots of... <laughs> so much frost armor. Really don't want to engage into this as a unit. But so far, very slow early game. Everybody gives uh, the other team a lot of time to basically do what they want. Level 3 for Lucifer already. For happy, not yet, but we see a scroll of the beast. Ooh, this could be good. 25% damage boost, of course. Everybody's really creeping a lot. TC level 2, bottom level 2. Creepjack here with a level 3 bottom, but shockwave into one archer. Oh my god, Ice Revenant with a Nova. Both of the town board. Haven't seen that guy in a while. Chaos damage and Nova. Was it worth it to for just one TP? I don't know. Reprisal at level 3. There's gonna be a big fight here. Happy is about to lose a fiend! Frostborn is faster than the coil. And Foggy is still in problem. Still a Nova. Oh no! Foggy is losing her! And now level 3 on the TC. And what can he do against this now? He needs help. And Hawk is coming. But against this ice... Whoa! That shockwave! Did you see that? All wisps dead! No chance. It's the only one remaining to repair. And the Ice Revenant is hacking and slaying against the buildings. This is so sick. This could be the 1-0 right here. TP in. Nova on Hawk. Surround on Hawk. Not really. Happy is coming in for the defense. But in the meantime, there's a go by reprisal against another expansion. Oh, this item was absolutely great. And did a lot to, especially Foggy, who's about to lose another tree here. But did you see that shockwave? Oh my god. Insane. 
So he sees the towers. The Ice Revenant don't really want to walk into that tower. I thought he's kind of squishy, but he has 1k HP. So good luck with that. The Dark Wizards, man. They're quite good. He mind still has his bottom. And another go towards the expansion of Hawk, but they're also towers. You want to keep this Ice Revenant around for the longest time. Amulet of the Wild, well, this is not really that great for Lucifer. Another shockwave. And the bottom is finally back for Foggy. Oh boy. A player's forces are under attack. It's still not over. Also, of course, the vamp aura. Worth so much. If you play mass grunts, of course. Bottom is back, but what she what can she do? This base is under attack. Again, shockwave against the building here. Star, uh, stomp coming in. This was nice. Level four for focus. <laughs> the player's forces are that was a very, very, very good goal for Akatsuki. And the bottom is just being fed. One expansion, two expansions. Three. Oh no, this is not expansion. There it is. Three expansions for Remind. Foggy on one, two, three as well. But he suffered a lot. Especially the bottom is super under leveled now. It must be super under leveled because Remind has a lot of time. Ah, actually not that the bad. Forces are under attack. So the Ice Revenant decided the early game. What else do we have in store for Top Notch? The town is under siege. They're going on to Remind Expansion. Shockwave against Raiders not that great. But they kill this one. Seemingly with ease. Cash, of course, getting a lot of resources thanks to Pillage. A but Foggy's next expansion gets cancelled. That was a little too obvious and a little too offensive, but you can try, I guess. Foggy should be feeding the entire time. Scout Owl by Remind is scouting the entire time. And here's the bottom of Remind surrounded. TP or not, goes for the storm, but the damage is just way too, way too bad. This tree of life will fall as well. Will take some time though. And he actually, let's go with this bottom just for a little bit though. Another go by focus and a town fought loud by both knighters at the same time actually. So good base layout by Remind. Gonna stay in there with the archers. As there is the next fight coming up. Focus has tech in the meantime for raiders. And raiders are really good if your buildings are burning. Oh, flame strike. But I mean, just level one, I guess. And another push, man. These Koreans are tearing it up. Top notch was so good last week, but seems like the Koreans have found a way. Foggy has to repair with everything he can. Nice impale. But that is not enough. Counter Impale. Is it enough to destroy us in the air here? No worms on that side, but Wep is in. He keeps the Expo alive. Uproots the Engine of War. In the meantime, Cash is still on the base of Remind. And here is some action going on as well with Mortar Team. So Hawk is defending this well. And Happy was right there at the right time to defeat Lucifer. Bears are coming for Remind. Plus Talons with all the gold that he has. Floating in a thousand. Focus expansion again. Detected. And killed. So a little time to breathe here at least. Oh, still two raiders. Level 5 TC already, man. These guys are leveling it up so hard. Triple hero combo, of course. And Lucifer is losing that Crypt Lord very early in this fight. Nice impact to go for the DK. There is no Town Pole on, on him, if I see this correctly. No, that's not. But this Lich is an absolute beast. Level 5 from the TC, as I said. Only level 4 for focus. And there is Stomp against uh, Wave. And Stomp is, of course, a lot better. Killing off the next bear here. Bottom for Remind level 5, 
So this range army gets a big boost, also mortal teams. At the moment this is the biggest fight we have. No fragmentation shards, I think. Nice done. Into TP to get out of there because everything is hurt. As they are griffins for reprisal. Griffins against mortal team, man. That is not the best thing to do. Reprisal and hawk. Pretty good friends usually. Not today though. And happy again with his pet and attack technique to go for mass destroyers. Owl scout again. A few units are standing. This expansion is gone. They push into the human expansion with all these destroyers. I wonder if I can break it. I mean, the towers are not that strong. There's gonna be a town portal soon. Nice wall off here again. Korean Sim City is pretty strong. And now Happy has to TP out of this. No chance. Doesn't want to lose all the fiends. And Focus is getting ready again. For this Huntress Hall coming up very late. Foggy Tekken 2 Tier 3 getting engines of wind for now. And there is Cash in the main base of Lucifer forcing a TP. Getting a counter TP. Eight gold mines for the Europeans. Or maybe seven and a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six only for the Koreans. Oh, Happy is there. This Impale will hurt if there's mana. Oh, there's not. If he wants to get this tree so bad, the damage is not enough. Even the Shockwave can't help. Oh, this is so hectic. <laughs> Gyrocopters in now. Gyrocopters and Mortars. Is he tier 3? Yes, he is. So he must have fragmentation shocks by now. Inner fire coming for Hawk as well. Everybody's Tekken. Foggy on tier 3. Or on the way to tier 3. Longbow upgrades. Player's forces okay. are under attack. Just a little creeping on the now MK, who's only seat. level 2 here. In general, pretty weak hero levels for reprisal. Five and a half in the TC, and he's going for Shockwave now, as it seems. So not too much Stomp available. There we go, Shockwave stun again. Focus TP's out because there's a lot of damage. Oh, the hippos! What is Remind doing? Sacrificing all his hippos into this major mistake. He lost like ten supply easily, and what does he have? Oh my God, this is eighty supply Griffins. What can he do against eighty supply Griffins? Blizzard. Maybe. Oh yeah, Lizard is good. Flame Strike as well. Potom is surrounded, has to TP out. Oh, many, many kills from this. The Song of Ice and Fire is strong in this, and so is Happy. Wow, did they turn this game around? Expansion is wiped out. Is there? There's an Impale. Here we go. Was a little too late, I guess. Didn't hurt too much, and didn't, doesn't he have to get out of there? How can he oversee this? I mean, there's a lot of web, but two armies against one, and there is Happy out. In the meantime, Orc Mirror here. Cash a lot closer to level 6. Foggy is camping up with an Engine Protector in the base. All the flying machines are quite hurt. We have Chimeras. Of course, Chippos or Kippos are the thing in big games. Also, Bat Riders, man. It's going to this long and exhausting mass air game. I was about to say a Dreadlord is out, but no. It's just... The relics. No level 5 for Foggy. This really hurt. And Happy is like a rabbit wolverine. Just attacking and attacking and attacking. Impale again. Nova follow up maybe? Oh, there's no mana for this. 3 1 tech against 3 0. 51 versus 75 supply. In the meantime, they are wrecking this base. The Warden is in, okay, and has fallen immediately. Oh boy, this army is strong. This army is super strong. They need hippos as fast as possible. TP out from Foggy. And what can they do? I mean, Workshop, I mean, uh, Gyrocopters, yeah, Happy is TPing in as well. This is a huge, 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 huge fight. But I don't think there's enough anti-air. Blood Mage has been taken out immediately. They drive them back for now, but once the Bat Riders are coming in, they will struggle. <laughs> Lucifer is on this way to kill another expansion in the meantime. Reprisal at 84. 
And the Raiders? Well, they have to TP out. There's no chance against this. The Prizel is losing quite a bit, actually. Didn't expect that to happen. And the Orc is killing Foggy's expansion again. TP's out. Good play by Focus. This is a Raider. Whatever. It was raw being used. So, is there a time to cool down now? I think Reprisal lost more than I expected. 60, let's check the supplies now. 65 for Hawk. 65 for Foggy. 50 for Cash only. And 72 for Happy. The other side, 60 for him. 80 for Reprisal. 33 for Focus. Oh, he is the weak link. Of course, with bad riders, you lose a lot. But supply-wise, there is an advantage. A town is under siege. So check. A player's Still with Stomp, I guess. Maybe... Oh, yeah. Stomp and level 2 are up. Here are more bad riders. And... Whoa, this anti-air army. <laughs> they reacted well to this. And Lucifer is getting wrecked here. What do they have against this mass anti-air? There's a lot of bad riders. Destroyers can't be attacked by griffins and chimeras, of course. Inner fire mortar teams. Should lead to a good siege. They have gyros as well. Three. Oh, and a combined attack towards Reprisal's main as well. The Europeans seem to have the upper hand. They're pushing forward and forward and forward. DK dies for happy though, and I guess he had the TP. Yes, no TP for happy anymore. Mass hippos though, but they fly into the bad riders. Focus not microing this perfectly. We also have hippo riders there. And the bottom dies. Oh, was she executed? And as it seems, they have a lot against this. DK is back. This was this DK loss was big, but in the meantime. There's nothing they do against Hawk. The tree is gone. The production buildings are falling. So Remine is almost out. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gold mines soon. 11 gold mines soon. This seems to be overwhelming, man. This seems to be absolutely overwhelming. Especially poor focus. Not too much to do here. Undead Mirror again. And as every Jera Cup in the past. Lucifer doesn't stand a chance. But here comes the reinforcements. Here comes reprisal. And this is an easy TP out. Like, they cannot stand there any longer. Happy at 68. But I think you're pretty comfortable at 68. A player's force. Mass detonate. And Remind's base is wiped out. He has... To oh, and his expansion as well. Oh, Cash with a nice follow-up here. Massive stun. There are some split pushes here, I guess, with liquid fire. A player's forces are under attack. Can he kill the party? I don't think so, because there's a combined attack again. Many gyros. 70 supply with area of effect. He has to get rid of them as quickly as possible. I think he does a good job with this. Hawk is plummeting in supply, but holy shit, Archmage is down as well. 40 supply left, but what's left for reprisal? 52. Where is that 52 supply? It's only very few. Oh, level 6 for happy. And he TPs out. That was close, man. Area of effect all over the place. And the Death Knight falls. Again for the second time. Is it the heroes that win them the game? The Blood Mage falls as well. Hawk has basically nothing anymore. Cash is in with a big storm. He has, of course, resurrection. So killing him, not the best thing. Going for the lich. No. What a fight here. Bad Rider nuked, at least the first one. There's still quite a bit of air here. But they fight in happy space, it is of course a big advantage. He stuns up. Insane. Holy light again. But that is resurrection coming in. The ultimate of the TC. He will be back with full HP, full mana. Hippogriffs are finding the Griffin Riders. Every prize less, only 50 supply remaining. We lost 30 in this. 
TC is back, but nuked immediately. Nice web by Lucifer. But Divine Shield here. Mountain King. Getting Holy Light again. This Divine Shield was really big, but there's no second Divine Shield anymore. And the MK dies. Level 6 for Lucifer now as well. Reanimate dead, but it's just a few ghouls and priests and fiends. That's not really big. Resurrection again, this time for focus. And what a big fight this is, man. And for how long this goes. But they wreck happy space. They wreck happy space. There's also a knight now invincible. Is resurrection off cooldown again? Because he's in a bad position, but in a good position for a stomp, obviously. How long does this last? Not much longer. But yeah, TC falls. Ank or not? No! He falls! There was no resurrection available anymore. And so the Orc hero falls. Too bad for him. Nova's rattling through. Lucifer's at 65 supply all of a sudden. It's the other way around. And it was the entire game before. Foggy, a storm, uh, like a, a star fall, would be so good. He's losing expansion after expansion in the north. Because, like, there's this. The entire time. Focus is not in anymore. As Lucifer and Reprisal are marching forward. And Happy is losing his base. And Foggy is TPing out here. He's okay. That doesn't matter. The base is gone. I don't have to hold this anymore. And Liquid Fire again. Wow, this push. Here comes Starfall. By Remind. And against these hippos. It's damn strong. Can't counter it at the moment. Oh, Blizzard on top. This is good though. Has to force a TP soon. Oh, Carly kills him! He kills him in Starfall. Big hero loss for Remind. Who has no altar anymore. Base of Foggy in trouble again. Still only 30 supply for Focus, but yeah, he's sacrificing everything. Mass teleport onto this TC to help in this. There's almost no anti-air for Happy. Lich is strong, yeah, a few bad riders are coming in, yeah, but it's still a lot of Griffins with 3-3. Was it the air choice over Hawks, Gyros, Mortars that won him this game, or that will win him the game? Mass teleport again, that is such a mighty weapon to jump to wherever he's needed. Whoa. This is a world war. Six wolves. Can Happy rebuild anything? I think he lost everything, right? So Happy is at 33. And this is all he has. A few destroyers. Remind was able to build back. And he has a few chimeras left. Happy is not. AT supply for Lucifer. 34 focus. 24 for Remind. Hawk is back at 66. Cash is at 30 only. Blizzard might help the mass detonate against everything. Oh boy. That was a lot of lost supply. And, well, there's also big detonates. And the Blizzard. The Blizzard is key against this heal scroll being used. But this is a bad position. I guess mountain giants are coming in for Foggy. Starfall again. Everything is all over the place. And is this Starfall the key? Is this area of effect the key? Reprisal still at 60. And he's... Yeah, this Starfall won't hurt too much anymore. Song of Ice and Fire cast it in. But he doesn't get the kills on this Griffins. They are still there. And plus 20. Lich falls. No Orb of Corruption anymore. And the Mountain King has fallen as well. 88 supply for Reprisal. The carry. They are so fast now. Must be Aura 3, right? Yeah, DK Aura and TC Aura. That's sweet. Oh, again, takes out these flying machines so fast. Stun on the bottom. If the bottom goes, then there's not too much damage on the Griffins anymore. 
that's why she TPs out. She needs the true shot for the Griffins. I guess they have to feed Hawk a bit. We will 6 on the Archmage for Hawk now. Bad Rider again. No web anymore. And reprisal TPs out. Giving up his base a little. Or his expo. Reinforcing streaming in again. Detonate, detonate, detonate. But he needs these flying machines. Star fall by Remind now. So many kills together here, especially on the Archmage who pulls the town fall and ho ho ho! The damage on the poor, poor bottom again. Happy and Cash stay in this. They think they're able to defeat Lucifer here, which oh, seems to be the case, but not reprisal. Bad Riders though, big kills. They're not that effective because there's so much armor, but they, he got rid of them. These Bad Riders were the key. Reprisals plummeting, Divine Shield helps them for now. But they must have it. They must have this. Archmage is nuke! Oh, that holy light was big, but it's staff out. Unbelievable. How long does this divine shield last? It's level 2. So this hero will survive for a little bit, but not much longer. Area of effect again. And the paladin is dead! They're trying again with the orc lame to fight back in this base. Level 7 bottom. Plus 11 damage on the flying machines. Almost doubles the damage here. Shredder is taking out this expansion of Lucifer. Really good play. This expo is gone. There's gold is left in the mains by the way. 130. So not too much. For the main bases, we have to take care of this, and Hawk wants to defend this. Hawk will defend this. AP is up. He is down. Lucifer got another expansion here. He will have. Uh, he has three gold mines at the moment. Happy still can't do anything except move his 23 supply. Main base for Cash is gone. Main base for Foggy is gone. All the main bases are gone. <laughs> Blizzard 3, Flame Strike 3. Easy Katka to take this out. But same with Liquid Fire. They uh, can repair. Interesting that Cash doesn't go for it. Seems like he doesn't need it. Well, Hawk defended this. So, who is mining at the moment? Remind is. And Lucifer is. A player's forces are under attack. Only on one base. Foggy is mining here. And uh, Foggy is mining here. Town is Hawk is seat. mining here. They get rid of Remind's Expo. They can repair though. But you know, against this. Toxic. Oh boy, level 8. <laughs> bad Riders versus Bad Riders. Stereo sound here. Trying to go for the bottom again. Invo Potion is used. Can he go in for stun? He's looking around with the Lich to get a Nova and then the stun coil. Where's the Nova? Doesn't have the mana. Can he reach for the stun? Doesn't even need it! Because the Lich kills him and the True Shot Aura is gone again! Remind's Expo is gone too. And the only one mining is Lucifer. Hawk is rebuilding this. Is Foggy mining? Yes, Foggy is mining. It's moving a lot of stuff over, but it's been picked up. Reprisal again at 70. Don't know about this one, I guess. This has been online for such a long time. Potom is back from the tavern. Do you know how expensive this is? To purchase them from tavern. Tree of Eternity moved over, so it's three gold mines. And they gather around the tavern. Lucifer is expanding everywhere, hoping that some of them come through. 
He's also at 80 food. Mass fiends, it is. Try to take out this anti air, but there's so much anti air. Hippos, gyros, and bat riders. Does he have enough beats for this? Cash is down to 20 supply and he will sacrifice a lot of it. Pale against the fiends. Hippos are coming from the right. But so far the web is working. Starfall again against this. Where is Blizzard? We're waiting for it. Here is the second Starfall. I think the one was cancelled. He is Blizzard. And the portal has fallen for Foggy. Now his true shot aura is gone. Lucifer again with the ultimate. Or oh, Lucifer and Reprisal. Can they take this home? Can they really take this home? We have the Crypt Lord ultimate soon. Here we go. On both sides. Happy and him. And at Lucifer. Here's the TC about to fall. But there should be resurrection. So much AoE again. And of course a healthy healthy Crypt Lord. Blood Mage falls. But still Reprisal is plummeting hard. Nice. One, but no. TC falls without resurrection. Can he get a counter kill? Doesn't look like it. Paladin ultimate use and Happy about to lose his DK. But no, Archmage. Fo oh. They went all hero focus and they almost succeeded. Defending Lucifer's base. Reprisal at 35. Lucifer still at 66. 15 for Cash. 15 for Foggy. 13 for Happy, they lost this fight. 41 for Hop. Heroes are being bought back. What's here? 15 for Focus. 85 for Lucifer. These expansions work. But I guess they wiped out Remind? I know, the bottom is still there. That's the only thing that Remind has left. His bottom. Priests, I wonder how long they will last. The Koreans are moving forward, but there's no air anymore, right? It's just Alex mass fiends. Okay, three of them, three griffins, but mass fiends against flame strike and blizzard. Oh, there's no blizzard, uh, there's no flame strike at the moment. Of course, Hawk can zone a lot with this blizzard. Don't want to run in there. Hawk is mining, but for how much longer? Otherwise, Foggy will be the only one of team top notch. Is that lich? He is stunned. Both are stunned. No coil. Lich down! Of course, not as significant as it is in one-on-one, -on -one, but still a big pickup. And this, but this one. The stun plus AoE. What a combo the entire time. Archmage needs to be nuked, I guess. TC falls, or does he? TP's out. More and more Griffins. Someone is feeding Reprisal like a god, and I guess it's Lucifer. Hawk has 1,300 gold. Archmage falls, so no Blizzard anymore. Flamestrike is back for, for how much longer? I don't guess for too much. Cryptlot doesn't have his ultimate. And Starfall, how long does that last this time? I guess for a bit. Ah, Impale comes in. Paladin falls, and they call for the GG. Reprisal and his Griffins are superior and they win the first set of this series whoa what a game by far the best 4 and 4 that i have ever seen in my entire life doesn't say too much i did not watch a lot to a to, uh, 4 and 4s in my life but damn that was awesome And what's the big key going for Mortars? I don't know. All the time and resources that Akatsuki invested into, uh, that, that Hawk invested into Mortars, the others Invested into Griffins, and Griffins were way stronger.
And Lucifer, of course, expanding so much. <sighs> no break from you. This is uh, best of three. And the grand final will be best of five. So we, this will continue. Foggy is calling for NS. That is um, Northshire. By the way, thank you Argentum for subbing throughout this game. Of course, you will get all the replays here if you sub. Remind us, 400 APM? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know if they will, if they are playing both games at the same time. I don't know. So map choice now for the European team. They had the upper hand against the Koreans on the map we saw before. What is the Lich ulti? That's quite funny. There was a running gag in the German scene, like, what can the Lich do? <laughs> so we're waiting for happy and then we can start the second one Thank you, Stefan200, for the Twitch sub. This is... This is really stressful, man. I mean, I, I'm having a lot of fun as this is casting my... Uh, this is suiting my casting style, I guess. Just talk about what's happening and no insights at all necessary. Getting cold feet here. I had some spaghetti in the break, and they uh, boosted me here. Is it possible to turn on default player colors? Then everything is a mess, man. Then you can't separate one team from the other. That's... Bad. So, players are ready! We are ready! Witty is in there as well. <laughs> yeah, Cash didn't like that I said that the Europeans are down. He said, we're Russia, not EU. So, okay, who doesn't like that? Um, I get that. So, the Koreans, Akatsuki, they're leading 1-0, one map away from the grand final. And the colors are the same, I like that. So welcome to Northshire LV. This is an updated version by Blizzard. We have Lucifer on the left. We have Reprisal in the north as well as Remind and Focus on the right. He's spawning right next to Hawk, who could put on a lot of pressure on that base early on, I guess. So Hawk on the right, Happy protected in the south as well as Cash and Foggy right next to Lucifer. I think that's quite good. Um, we have a protected human who can expand here. Well, this might not be the best position for Hawk in terms of expanding. I don't know the creep spots though. We will just go with it as we see. Afterwards we have the second semi-final if I'm not mistaken. 
we have uh, who is there? Banana Monkeys, the Swedish team of uh, Thorzane, Scott, Fra, and Endars, versus Team Ankule of Moes, Shocker, Tox, and Zampa. Half German, half France. So, as always, focus with the TC. As always, remind with the Potom. As always, reprisal with an Archmate. And as always, Lucifer with the DK. That is the case because all of these heroes have an aura. We have the same here. Potom, TC, DK, and Archmage. Yeah, we have a three minute delay to prevent stream abusing. Which is, I think, a pretty good rule. Sucks a little, because uh, stream interaction is not that great. Forces are under attack. But whatever. Why can't I see the past broadcast yesterday? There was a mistake and I had to disable it. But it's on YouTube. Are you German? Yes. Where can I find the replays? I will send you the replays to your Twitch inbox if you are a subscriber to this channel. So, Scout Owl by Foggy to see what's going on. A player's forces are Sacrificing the damage for it. Going for Huntress early. In that position, need to defend yourself. Can't attack super quick. And yeah, Happy and Hawk join forces here. Well, the bottom of Remind is distracting a little, not creeping at all. And Reprisal already with an expansion, same for Hawk, so the humans, as always, expanding as fast as possible. A player's forces are under attack. But Hawk already here to support this. Will be a quicker level 3 founder as well as the Beast, which is always great. So again, a passive early game. EU is the European Union, a not Europe. Well, are under attack. it's the abbreviation for Europe. But I called them CIS and they were fine with that, so... Here's a push! And off we go. Into the base. Focus the suffering! Losing his shop here. I wonder if there's a reaction. I mean, he Town must come back. He has to heal up and he has to face two opponents at the same time. Lucifer is helping him here. We have a Fiend Mirror, but of course the Footmen are helping. Should you go for early defense or is it not worth it in 4 and 4? I guess it's not worth it as you should be able to tech quite fast with a bit of funding from your allies. Potom is joining the fray as well with a few Huntress, so this push has been defended, but losing the shop does hurt a bit. And we have maybe the second expansion coming, first a one for Foggy. Are under yeah, there he is. There it is, I mean. For Remind, we don't see that yet. So again, more into the Echo for the CIS team. the expansion that we were waiting and at the moment just little skirmishes but reprisal finds his way into Cash's base and these burrows are exposed with the scroll of the beastman this is horrible plus nine damage on the water elementals foggy is coming in to the defense also a few grunts but the position for them is quite bad also no dispel in this wisp would be amazing triple water elemental and two of them are uh, roared Oh, this throws Cash back into the Stone Age. He reached tier 2, but he can't go for a second here because he's supply stuck. In the meantime, there's another little fight here. But I don't think this will matter too much, but maybe this one will. The TC in... Oh, nice double kill. But there's a Town Portal from Reprisal. Good reaction by Cash to force this Town Portal. 
and uh, leave his own base alone. So this skirmish gets a lot better. Uh, bigger, happy TPs out. Gets uh, going to return. Oh, I like that lightning shield onto the town portal fiend. That hurt. It's Akatsuki from Naruto. Isn't that like a secret ninja guild as well? Are under or samurai or something? I don't know the difference, unfortunately. I don't want to insult anybody, but I don't know. So Cash now with the beastery. Oh, this push. Lightning shield on the illusion! Good against the workers. Focus doesn't want to get burned for the next stun, and so the arcane tower is gone. Where is the defense? When is it coming? Lightning shield. We have seen so many lightning shields recently. It is happy trying to defend. Hawk is there as well. But the position isn't that great. Fiends in the front, that's not what you want. Grove the beast being used as well. Oh, nice save. By Lucifer. And Hawk is back against the laboratory here. Again, we have stun versus shockwave. A player's are and under another attack. battle here in front of Hawk's base, but of course, with a hometown advantage, they're able to defend them here. But what is Hawk doing? Pull the grunt. Okay, that was not too bad. <laughs> Hawk is suffering hard. Players' forces are under attack. Remind has the expo up. Tier three by reprisal again. Ah, okay, it's just I didn't see the construction there. Uh, it's on its way. Mountain King, as well. So many footmen, man. Reprisal is pressuring a lot. I like how he plays this day. Uh, four and four. Bottom on level 3, troops are gathering in the middle again. Are under attack. Bottom only level 2 of free mind. So, he goes into the Archmage. To force this TP to get the Bandit Lord. Foggy is level 3 already, so good advantage for the Huntresses, but we might attacking already. For the Dryads. But they get this Bandit Lord. Probably the big item, Lionheart of Stormwind. I don't know if there's an Ice Shard available here, but that was definitely a big part a of why Akatsuki won attack. this. First game. Double mana potion on the DC. We've seen this before today. Foggy with two expansions again. It has been scouted though. And freeze up the next one with a replenishment potion here. Little push again by Hawk, but it's just a tiny little distraction. This is not tiny at all. This is a big push, but where are the blockers in this? It's mass range. Mass piercing against an expansion. Okay. And Hawk's distraction is working better than I thought, at least for now. But now with the speed score, he has to disengage. In the meantime, Cash is pushing into Remind's base. But there needs to be a reaction. Foggy and happy. Perfect position. But of course everything is crammed up. The bottom, the bottom. Safer. Oh boy, that he... No way he got it. I thought the healing was good enough. But no, it wasn't. And again, Foggy is losing the bottom. Therefore, Remind is losing his base. Good execution by Cash. And Hawk is finding this... Oh, Remind is not on top of his game, man. Needs another TP here to save this one. How much is coming in? Oh, very aggressive TP by Reprisal. Stormball against the Mountain King. Not securing this. Oh. Gets him out with 40. In the meantime, focus with nice shockwaves. Zeppelin and Echo Harass works very well. And uh, 
We have a few supporters in here, but oh my god, there's fights everywhere. I gotta finish this first. Reprisal gets a lot of stuff done with his footman. I'm really surprised. Oh, there was an invo potion left. Picked it up with the Mountain King, I guess. Swaps it over to the Archmage now to save him or to buy some more time. As there's another Zeppelin drop and Shockwave. Uh, here we go. Focus is playing this really nice. Now the Zeppelin is gone and might force a Town Portal. Same here. Raid is being chased. Bottom level 3. Okay. Oh, do we have some time? Nope. Again? Hawk with the Mortars. But the expansion is gone. Hawk's Expo is gone. Needs to rebuild. But Foggy again expanding. And here's a massive push into the Orc base. Who's only now going to tier 3. If they can prevent... Liquid fire, that would be amazing. Beast 3 is down immediately. Shockwave doesn't do too much. He's expanding here. Town Portal is coming in. Massive Shockwave. Crypt Lord is in as well. Throw of Protection. This is a big push for the CIS team. Shockwave doesn't do too much. Impale against the Crypt Lord. Very rare to see that. The Dryad's in a very good position. The Fiends as well. The Destroyers, of course, can't hurt them. Shockwave doesn't affect them. So they, they are a good buffer unit for them. Lucifer is losing the Crypt Lord. Oh, he's not. Nice coil. And Focus is able to defend this base for now, but the Dryads are falling for Remind. Only 38 supply, double level up here. Level 5 on the TC, does have more Shockwaves, at least one. There's no mana burn here for him. Double level up here as well, level 4 for the bottom. Shockwave doesn't hit too much. TC falls for cash, and there is no Endurance Aura anymore. Archmage is coming in only now. Hippos in the air, but nothing to attack for them. Happy at 62 supply. He was the carry in a lot of games in the... Uh, first game in the, in the group stage and now the mortar teams they really wreck like four of them against the fiends They finally look at the corpses They're standing waist deep in bones And here's a counter push now, but yeah happy defense cash space. This is just a tiny little one Two raiders distracting and the mortar team. Oh boy, that shockwave! Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Mountain King dies as well. But can he kill it? No, he can't. Can't commit mass repair and he keeps the fortress up. So, for fuck's sake. Now, thank you so much for the resub here. Uh, Thust1988, Test Pilot YY. Thank you, Chuckle, for the host. And once again. Herr Wuse, MVP of this, this month, with a fourth donation this month. 30 bucks again. Spaghetti money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's really big and helps, man. Thank you so much. And now we have a big uh, clash in the middle. Happy at strong 64. Cash at 38. Lucifer only at 50. Remind at 48. Oh, Lich almost dying there. Foggy is joining in with 70 supply. Where is that army? It's a lot of hippos as reprisal again going into Griffin Riders. It's hippos, not hippo Griffin Riders, by the way. We saw a few in the game prior. Over into the hippos. They need to find a good position to save the Griffins from them. And I hear. Yep, I hear flying machines. But their upgrades are not too great. Level up for the Crypt Lord. Archmage falls. Oh! Hippos find them now. Poor Crypt Lord. Always in focus. Gyros are coming back in. Web is in as well. So the Hippos can't attack anymore, but they find their targets here in the north. Paladin falls, but only level 1. The Fiends and Raiders are marching forward. So much Ensnare everywhere. Archmage for reprisal. Holy shit, he's losing all three heroes in the blink of an eye. And the Koreans have to TP out. Losing more and more and more. Oh no. Reprisal. You were the carry in game 1. But this time it wasn't that great. Focus all. So down to 17. And this push is huge. 80 undead supply boys. How to defend this. They also have priest behind with inner fire. And now. He commits to this for the second time. Raiders will fall. But so will the fortress. Are there still more teams available? There are kind of a few. Can't repair too much. Gets rid of the raiders. 
But this fortress is gone. No income for focus anymore. Also the TC without a TP. Got level 6 so we will come back once. Oh, he doesn't have mana. Oh, well, maybe not. Here we go. Reincarnation coming. But he will die. Twice. Poor peon dying sounds here, man. Whoa. Quad level up? That was great to see. Like, everything's shining. Focus got his TC back though. But his base, not so much. Lightning shield again. Bottom of Remind in trouble. Man, the Koreans, they have no chance at all against this. Foggy has a great anti-air army. Happy has 90 supply. Foggy even has Geomance is playing a little Dota Meepo style here. And catching the bottom now, no TP. Shockwave, of course, doesn't affect them, but whatever. Good block by Happy so far. A player's forces are under attack. But not enough. TC is trying to help with Stomp. Endurance Aura 2 to get Stomp. Very interesting choice. Kill another expansion. This Stomp was nice, so uh, Reprisal can clean this up a little. Get rid of Cassius Raiders. So not too many distraction goals at the same time. But this army, man. <laughs> it's Hawk at 66. It's foggy at 80, it's happy at 90. Yeah, Tinker and Necromancers are not allowed because cluster rockets cause uh, desyncs on these bots and so does... I don't know, raise dead or something? Yeah, how do you want to defend this? I don't know, this is 260 supply or something? And they have everything. They have so much siege, it's plus 29 on the mortars with 2 0 upgrades. DK falls there. GG. They are back in this series and we go to tier 3. Remind and focus very weak, especially on the heroes, man. Focus by far the weakest player. Resource-wise, Foggy is on top with everything, man. He is expanding like a madman. Look at this. 22,000 gold. More than Happy and Focus combined. Or more than Lucifer and Focus combined. This is oftentimes the key. This is oftentimes the key that Foggy just overwhelms the opponent with his economy. So, level two blade master would kill the army of Team Blue. <laughs> so, this is one one now, and the next map will determine the first finalist. Yeah, that was good, man. I was a little worried when they pushed into Hawk's Expo, but they got back from it. Because Foggy was just expanding over and over. And then this 80 supply. Happy was left alone the entire time. He could do whatever he wanted, I guess. Build a good army. Wasn't stressed at all. And when you have that many hippos... Then Reprisal can build all the um, all the Griffins he wants. And if he doesn't take out, like, 
if he doesn't have the Um, if he doesn't have the Griffins, then of course the Mortar Teams shine. As you saw. Quite easily. Still 1,400 viewers here for this event. That's quite sweet. Thanks for the new Twitter follows, by the way. Regis and Benoit. Of course, if you want to stay up to date with what we do, then Twitter and Facebook are the best to follow us there. So, we're in. I guess Tinker is allowed, but not Cluster Rockets, so Cluster Rockets are forbidden. So... Do we have... Ah, okay. Um, so we won't see the second semi-final as Team Ankule has already won 2-0 against the Sweden uh, Swedish players. Poor Thorze, man. His birthday yesterday and now losing the semi-finals here. De -de <laughs> hey, AKP Digger. Nice to see you, man. So, Golems in the mist. Oh, I forgot to turn the camera. Oh, whatever, right? Uh, well, that was a quite a big mistake on my side, but whatever. It's 1 1. It decides the opponent of Team Anculate. They are waiting in the finals, as I said. And, yeah. Quite entertaining game so far. Game 1 was the best 4-4 four four I've ever seen. T uh, game 2 was the revenge of the CIS. And now it will all come down here at Golems in the Mist. There's not too many expansions for Foggy. And, okay, the other colors wrong. Yes, the colors are wrong. Let me check that real quick, or change that real quick. Now we get a swap of players, bam, bam. Something is wrong with the colors here, but I guess my tool is just a little slow with all the players here. So hopefully this is better now. Um, Akatsuki, the Korean team in blue. Remind starting at the top. Again, kind of exposed. Reprisal in a good expo position. Th ah, that's the one! I remember. You c th these are hills, so you can expand quite easily. This was where uh, Sweden was wrecked one day. We have Focus in the middle again, Latest and Lucifer at yeah. the bottom. Here we have Cash at the bottom. Foggy quite... 
double engine of law this time. Quite protected. Hawk in the middle, creeping already at the Merc camp. He can of course buy a Zeppelin and then drop here. Very hard to take down. As you can see, there's a forest everywhere. So you have to cut through the forest to get to this spot where it's very easy to expand. A player's forces are if you know that. So workers coming back for reprisal. Not too much has happened. Cloth plus six. Golem's here protecting this. TC level two already. And I wonder who's the first one to expand here and how. A player's forces are under attack. So something's wrong with my broadcasting tool. Let me check that and get fix that real quick. That should be better in a second. So pretty passive so far, but oh, illusion creep of Lucifer against uh, the rock golems. But Cash sees this. Can he punish it though? So far, the bottom is just distracting a little bit. Only the illusions taking the damage. Almost a surround. Oh boy. Can't lose your TC there that early. He needs to level. In the meantime, focus and reprisal working together. But good that Cash was there, otherwise uh, it would have been a great accomplishment for Lucifer. So he used his Wind of Illusion for that and didn't get anything from it. Pension creep by Happy and Hawk. Doesn't look like I want to expand. Just creep this. Health stone for this and good experience. On the top we see kind of the same. Happy tanking with the illusion. So nobody is going for an expo. That will be a very, very, very different game than the ones before. Especially for Foggy. Like, what's he doing now? Hawk is getting this big level up for three. Oh, actually not. <laughs> like, one XP. Come on. They are kind of creepjacked here, but Remind can't do anything against it. On the other side, Reprisal and Lucifer got uh, the bottom Merc camp. Are they pushing... A player's yeah, but no Mercs. Team Ancule played double expansion here. And they TP home. Nasty TP. Is everybody here? I don't think so. No, speed scroll out. No end snares yet. Let's take a look. Do we have text? Yeah, almost done. Foggy Mass Huntress. Tech is done here. And tech is done here. Still no expo. Big fight here. Level 1 bottom only. Get a few kills though. Rock Golem is helping the Koreans a little. Remind also only level 1. Basically no experience on the bottoms. And I guess this level 2 Archmage helps a lot now. Sorry for the few spikes. Cyclone being used. Nah, Storm could have been better. Nice spread from Remind. Detonate to get rid of all the mana in the back. Level 3 for Happy. He has 3 coils to work with. It's really sweet. But it looks like they're losing this. Always a little advantage for the Koreans. But now they have the Potomora, which the others don't have, and especially the Fiends benefit from this. Grunts are falling. Oh, he used the coil offensively with a stun. Focus is losing the TC almost, but there was a big heal potion. Can't lose that aura as well. Oh, he does. Flame strike coming in though. TC dies level two for Remind finally. But the undead is so much strong. And where is Hawk? The entire time, by the way. Didn't ah, there he is. So basically, no army for him. 
Only Happy remaining. Cash at 29. Hawk at... I have no idea. Foggy at 26. A Hawk at 33. This is a lot better for Akatsuki. Mountain King coming in now. There are reinforcements everywhere. They will be intercepted. A fight in Cash's base. And Snare Upgrade is coming as well as Raiders. And yeah. It can't allow these to be intercepted. He needs to walk all the way across the forest. Lich is coming as well. Of course, reinforcements a lot faster for them. Now, zoning a little with Flame Strike. With giving them some time. Skeleton to scout. Town is under Risk siege. to scout. Still no expansion. Isn't all in already? They all have TP, so not really. But there's oh, cash supply stuck. He can't get his raiders out. They tried to focus the TC again. Can he get to level 3 bottom soon? Not really. Good Crypt Fiends. Also 1-0 upgraded. I guess this is uh, the CIS players losing. Oh boy, the DK. Unholy Aura gone. Massive stump by Cash. But uh, the Hawk saves the Mountain King. What a save against all that focus. So without the DK, what can you do? Level 4, but he double level up there as well. Nice Siphon Mana against the TC to get rid of the next stun. Reminded 42. Oh, that Flame Strike hurts! Basically only Foggy and Happy remaining. Reprisal's Caster Army is so big. Where's Hawk again? Hawk is at 42, but where is his army? I don't see it. Archmage a little far up front. And Snare comes in. Town portal out. So they disengage. What a scrappy fight. TP out by, Hawk, uh, by, by Focus as well. So they got the two town portals out. Hawk goes breakers. Oh, interesting. Still no expansions on the back of the golems. Catch is the bottom. Who is level 3 by the way? TP, is it enough damage before the town portal? Yes it is! Kills off the bottom. Level 3 for him and now run Huntress run. But against Ensnare, I don't know. A player's forces are under attack. That was big. That was really big. Remind losing the bottom. Usually it was Foggy losing the bottom all the time and now the Archmage falls into a TP. Sun comes a little too late. But it's alright. They did a hell of a job. They somehow have to get cash back in this game. With his poor 22 supply. Happy is at 50. Hawk is at 50. Foggy is at 44. This is, I think, a more normal game. 55 for reprisal. More comparable to 2 on 2 and 1 on 1, I think. Without all the expansions. We don't see super crazy techs. No tier 3, for example. Mass casters only. A player's forces are under attack. But the Koreans are pushing again before Cash gets his army back. Double beastery now. But of course he is always the point of attack. They, have to get back. they want to creep a little more. Town portals everywhere. Tom of retraining on the Archmage. Field scroll on the bottom. Field scroll on the Lich. This is everything that the Koreans don't have. They have a lot of mana on the TC, but that's about it. Barracks dies. Two for free, and yeah, we have Blizzard available, but he's hitting a lot of Foggy's units who are hurt by the Flame Strike. What a nice gesture by Reprisal to warm them up after the Blizzard. Massive Impale! And he saves this uh, Crypt Lord with him. The DK again has to TP out. They have to abandon this push. I think the Europeans have it. Players 
They deflected them twice. Forced a lot of gold out of this, out of these armies. Caught him again. No TP. No TP. How can he not have a TP? Losing the potem for the second time and Foggy is soaking up this experience. By far the most important aura, I think. With all the damage. Immediately Foggy goes to the shop, buys the town portal. Archmage, oh, is it in stock? Oh, it's actually out of stock. <laughs> Didn't see that. That could have been a reason, of course, why he doesn't have a TP. Blizzard now for reprisal as well. Of course, if there's no expansion, then Blizzard hurts a lot more. Because you can't really afford all the healing and replenishment of these uh, units. Okay. This is an expansion now. Hawk decides that it's time to try this. A player's forces are under attack. Position is bad with the fiends up front. Foggy is taking over this part. Where are the breakers? He's opening it up. So this looks decent. Shockwave coming in. Oh, big blizzard flame strike combo. Foggy can't move back. Took 50% damage on all of on basically everything. No mana on the Crypt Lord anymore. Blizzard is rattling through in the north as well, but I think got cancelled. Mercenaries being called by the Koreans. Everything is all over the place. Level 4. Wow, Cash with a massive stomp again. But will he suffer from this? Will he die from this? He has an Ankh of Reincarnation. I'm sorry for the drama. They are forced back a little, but nice and pale. Happy again with Destroyers on Tier 3. Huge Shockwave. Do they have Heal Scrolls again? I think they need one big Mana Potion remaining. And Mana Potions in general everywhere. Lucifer is about to lose the Crypt Lord. Can he go in for another one? No, no Stomp or anything to prevent this. DK is in trouble though. He wants this DK so bad. Lich is level 3. Does have mana for a lot of Nova. But Hawk... Oh boy! That was a quad kill. Hawk is in trouble with his Archmage. Happy is losing a lot. Maybe I was a little too fast with this. Hawk down to 30. Foggy down to 27. Happy at 36. Ay, 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 ay. 60 supply for Lucifer. A player's forces are under attack. And Reprisal at 56 as well. The numbers dominance. There is an expansion now, but it's harassed. Remind it takes out the expansion. Can't rely on this one. This area of effect is so sick. Nova, Impale, Shockwave, uh, Blizzard, and Flame Strike. It's too much. They cannot heal against this, as it seems. Bottom level four. They killed this bottom twice and still out leveled. A player's force. Impale needs another coil. Death Knight always in the back. But he burns all the mana. Everything is crimson red and burns now. Yeah, this is it. Crypt Lord falls. Archmage is super low. Gets Nova to buy a little more time. But this is, I don't know, a combined 1000 HP or something. Not much more. Happy is portaling away. He knows he can't really help too much up there. Ooh, focuses TC. Ah, has an arc. I see. I see. Oh damn! Gets executed. This archmage will die soon as well. Is he coming in for an impale? Oh, misses it. <laughs> At least he got that one. Can they... can they do something against this? Mass Blizzard with a stun again, but hitting almost nothing. Gets the Blood Mage there to get rid of the area of effect, but the TC dies as well. No stun anymore. And reinforcements are coming in for the Koreans. Over and over and over and over and over. Foggy is down to 18, excuse me, 15 supply. Potem and a few Wisps. They're holding on for a long time here, though. They're trying their very best. But it looks like their very best is not enough. Mountain King dies as well. One hero dies after the next. 
Oh, he shot me. So much Blizzard. He's casting Blizzard until all the end of time. Happy is losing the Lich there, and the DK as well. This must be it. I mean, there's no expansion that can save them. What's going on? Why are they pinging there? A player's forces are under Town is under siege. Expansion by Remind as well. They take out the Night Elf base. Level 6 on the Archmage. Full mana. They don't want to leave, but it's blatantly obvious that this is over. They have to get so many heroes back. They're losing bases in the bottom, both of them. Oh, bottom! Level 6. Mass teleport or aura? Looks like mass teleport. How do they want to win this? Bottom falls for Foggy. The rest of the army dies as well. GG! 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 The Koreans win this. Top Notch is out after being undefeated in the group stage. They lose the semi-finals here. The Koreans way better prepared than they were before. Learned a lot from this. And we have our final. We have the French-German quartet of Moe's, Shocker, Tox and Zampa versus the Korean All-Star team of Focus, Remind, Lucifer and Reprisal. This will be a best of five and we have we will see all the five maps. Who was gonna get home with the big chunk of the 2000 bucks here? 66% to the winner, 33% to the runner-up and 1% to Ugri for organizing. This is going to be a treat. 4 and 4 is a lot of fun. I hope you stay tuned. It's ha ha half past 6. It's going to be a long evening, boys. So, will the Koreans take it and steal the money from Europe? Or is it the first big win in a long time for France and Germany together? We'll see. Stay tuned. Be right back.